Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this evening where I am just jumping right back into Lucifer season three, episode 12. And I think we're returning to the Cinnamon storyline after a really brief respite, respite, respite. We saw Lucifer on day one of coming back to earth. Is it, how do you say it's coming back to earth? To the surface? Where exactly? Hell's another dimension. It's not literally underground. So wherever he's back topside. <laughs> Just going to have a fun couple of days until Aminadil and a few other people. But they put the thoughts in his head about rebelling and how he is evil. But he's not evil. He is doing the job he was sent to do. He believes rather dutifully. And to be considered a criminal and evil for it does not sit right with him. <laughs> and we had some other cute little flashbacks here and there. But Lucifer coming to that, mm -mm, I'm really rebelling now, was the main drive of last episode, in my opinion. And my oh my, has a minute deal come far. He has come far in his maturity of his own emotions. Wow. But I'm excited to get to it, and I'm so glad that you are here with me. So as we get settled, cozy, comfy, not cozy, but comfortable, you are going to get our, I got my water. I have some sparkling lemonade on standby. You are going to remember that the full watch along episode is available on Patreon. Join us. <laughs> But if you're ready, I'm ready, and let's get to it. Why the Monica? Wouldn't you agree? Kane. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> exactly. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Gosh, we have so much to catch up on, don't we, Kane? Have they crossed paths before? Now you'll claim your arrival on my doorstep simply coincidence. No. I'm the one that had you knocked out and left in the desert. Mm-hmm. So you're mm -hmm. gonna blame everything else on your eyeless stooge? He wasn't a stooge, he was my right-hand man. Until you shot him dead. Excellent way yeah. to repay his loyalty, by the way. Yeah! He went rogue. That's why I had to take him out. You know, for an immortal, you really do bleed a lot, don't you? Yeah. Oh, he has just given him bar napkins <laughs> to staunch the flow. Well, I don't have to tell you what sort of sick sense of humor your father has. Which is why I'm surprised that you're working with him. I would never work for your father. And I have nothing to do with your wings or your devil face. I don't believe you. I don't care. Just walk out on me. Or what? You'll kill me? <laughs> so why did he kill Mr. Sinnerman? <laughs> Pierce, he went rogue. There was a look there, Testing though, when he way. had him in his sights outside the restaurant thing. What did that look mean? It's dangerous, and now we have to pay to have this fixed. Relax. I've got it covered. Is that why you've been putting up all of Trixie's artwork? <gasps> Kid's gonna make cash somehow. You live in a house with people. <laughs> human people. This is that human thing where you're mad about something else, but you're taking that on me, right? Maybe a smidge. <laughs> that was a sigh of maybe a little. It's not funny. I trusted him enough to break the rules with him. Oh, yeah, and they broke those rules hard. He is who he is. Yeah. These transients keep coming through here to get to our beach. We put up signs, but they just ignored them. And now they're committing murder? Uh, Mel Vick, 24 years old, known as Manny the Moondog Taylor. As a pro surfer, top of the circuit, three out of the last five years. Are you surfing again? Why not? He needs a hobby. He can't just only do improv. Choking. Surf leash. From his own board? Not his own board. No DNA. Oh, ooh. Oh, Are her okay? interaction with Pierce has rocked her. For a girl who uh, dabbled in crime, she's rather sensitive. It's okay, detective. I assume you got held up with that needy offspring of yours and simply forgot to call. Actually, I chose not to call you. Who called him? I need your help investigating someone. 
What? You came here to get my help. Very much so, yes. My help. Are you having a senior moment? And, and investigating her boss? Is that what he's asking? I'm finally accepting you for what you really are, which is an egomaniacal narcissist. The only thing I can do is control how I respond. By helping me? Time to go home and be with the person you love most. Yourself. Oh, I love how those officers are right speedy roping him off. <laughs> so, Kane from the Bible. Oh, yeah, he can share this with Dr. Linda. Is he dangerous? Well, probably. <laughs> I don't understand why she won't help me. Perhaps it would help if you saw Chloe's perspective for a change. I mean, friendship is a two-way street. Yes, but right now, mine is clearly the more important lane. Okay, let's try a different tack. Maybe if you thought about how your actions affected her... What you're saying is I need to make it all about her for a change. And then she can make it all about me. Oh, that is brilliant, Doctor. He <laughs> gets so close. So close. Should have seen that one coming. Hey, don't blame me because you cherry bombed your way, dude. There's video footage. This is Dangerous Doug Libby. Dangerous Doug. Their names are not as good as the porn star names and the drag star names. You are not being your excessively cheery self today. What gives? Pierce yelled at me yesterday. If I fell apart every time a man told me that he didn't like what I was doing, I'd be in a million pieces right now. He's like a hero of mine. You need to get a thicker skin. Stand up for yourself because the truth is nobody's going to do it for you. Hey, Lieutenant. Oh, is he, he's going. He's packing up to go. I put in for a transfer. Only a few days left here. Oh. You know, I just don't understand it. I've never had a human illness before. <gasps> is it a cold? The flu? It's chlamydia. Ooh, from who? Right, but I can't have chlamydia. I'm an angel. How? Do you know how you got it? I have no idea. Well, have you been engaging in any risky sexual behavior? Well, I did have sex with a prostitute. Oh! They went all the way. I thought... I've also been it... making love to an amazing woman who I have genuine feelings for. Oh, but Linda now. Oh, Linda. We have a oh. mutual friend who doesn't want us together, and she is not... I thought the prostitute didn't go through when he didn't pay. They all need to be tested. Well, this is a new experience for Amenadiel, isn't it? Hello, detective. Lovely day for a bit of sunshine and sand, don't you think? Does he have a GPS on her? I have been remiss in prioritizing you in our friendship, so I'd like to make it up to you by deeming today Detective Day. One whole day. One whole day. <laughs> oh, half the day. Half the day. <laughs> that you need to get close to Mr. Dangerous Doug Libby. Since you don't have a warrant, you need to do so without blowing your cover, am I right? Well, that's going to be quite difficult, isn't it? Unless, of course, someone signed you up for the competition. <gasps> Does Chloe know how to surf? But wait, there's more. <laughs> now, since you're going in undercover, you need a suit. why not do it with a little panache? A detective! Well, you don't want to damage that perfect skin of yours now, do you? Look at that umbrella! Wow. Hey there. Dangerous dog? Oh, at least she put on a different jacket. Okay, she looks a little less policey. Or I should say detective-y. Aloha. Aloha. It's nice to meet you. He's a sugar daddy. Oh. <laughs> Is this your board? Oh, yeah. Did you uh, hurt yourself? Looks like someone bit it really hard here. Did you hit someone? Who did you say you were again? Mm -hmm. That's what he called her. God, it's me kidding me. Wow. All right, Dougie. LAPD. Wow. Wait. <laughs> Did they... Frank, this is evidence, Dougie. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> See? Detective Day. What's the shot he had of her? Where did he get the shot of her in her police uniform? <laughs> I know 
know what you're doing. You're only helping me so that I help you back, which is actually worse than not helping me at all. That's not... Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God. I was surfing, man. I caught this killer wave and he just came out of nowhere. So much blood. I have a feeling that's where this part came from. Anytime I closed my eyes, I could hear that awful sound. He just wouldn't stop barking. He killed a sea lion? That poor seal. <laughs> I killed him. Oh. Pardon me. Cream? Sugar? Or do you take it dark and bitter like your soul? <laughs> Do you enjoy beating up on your subordinates, Mr. Pierce? Uh, uh, I thought. Ella Lopez may be astonishingly perky and optimistic, but she doesn't deserve to have her spirit crushed by anyone, especially not a man who, for some unknown reason, she looks up to. She caught him at a bad time. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> that was awesome. But... Ella caught him at a bad time. Did he need to shout at her in such a way? No. But this would just be a simple conversation. You've managed to offend the detective more than anyone to the point where she actually divorced you. Yet you always seem to bounce back. How? You gotta find a way to be thoughtful without getting in her face. Like this one time, I made her breakfast in bed. Nice French toast, whipped cream, and, you know, maybe... If I had done more things like that. Shh. Oh, Lucifer, breakfast is not gonna, <laughs> gonna solve this problem. This is the RX-5500, world's most deadly hunting knife. <gasps> Wait, did Amenadiel call them both there at the same time? To tell them at the same time? Oh God, they take gifts, stupid. Really appreciate how you handled the whole me not wanting you and Amanda deal to bone thing. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you. Hide the knife. Hide the knife. What? Uh-huh. Yeah, is that it? Whatever. <laughs> she took that well. Is everything okay? He's just whining about having chlamydia. <laughs> Dodge that bullet. <laughs> huh. Mm. Yep. Mm. Bullet dodged, all right. <laughs> Apparently, there is a Huntington surf gang known as the Orcas. You know what their ammo is? Using surf leashes to choke people and scare them off their turf. What the hell kind of ammo is that? What people think of. Okay, but if the orcas are from Huntington Beach, what were they doing at the carbon? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're, they're expanding. Okay, only problem is a graffiti tag doesn't prove murder. Right. We need leverage. We need... These surfers are like a tribe. I have an idea. This isn't a good idea. Trust me, it's gonna work. Okay, Dan. Don't look so suspicious. Don't look so suspicious, though. <laughs> All he has to do is get the orcas riled enough that they try and rough him up. He yells the safe word, we move in, it's a piece of cake. All right, Dan, you're up. Wild child's on the beach. When you pick up your jaw, remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, Mazakeen, I don't think the detective wants a knife. I'm trying to be thoughtful here. Hello? Look at those delightful soles of his shoes. Oh, no, no. Please don't go through her cases. What, well, as if the detective doesn't have enough on her plate already? Oh, no. He's going to be helpful. I think for her, she's got a partner to pick up the slack. Oh, no. People at my day job know not to touch my things. <laughs> Yes, I have the messiest desk of everybody, but it is organized. I know where everything is. Right. Truly out of ideas. Can you think of anything? You stubby these test tubes. 
I want them spick and span. And if you don't mind, how about you do with a freaking smile? Oh, she's gone boom, off the rails. What do you mean, Pierce is leaving? Yeah, didn't you hear? He's about to transfer out of the department. <sighs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh, well, that's how you upset a lot of people. Oh, no, no, go in front of her. She wants to die. Point is, maybe you don't have to go. Where is he planning on going? He has not said. What did you come to make it all about me again? No, it's all about him now. Give us a sec, will you? Keep an eye on Dan, will oh, you? Oh, no. After all, this is a sting. Oh, no. You know, a sting. You want answers. Mm. <laughs> okay. Do your thing. What? Ask yeah, me. why oh. was... Why did he... Why Pier Yeah, we never got why Pierce got in front of Lucifer to start with. I want to die. That's why he came to Lucifer. And kidnapped him. What does that have to do with coming here or me? It has nothing to do with you. Then why did he kidnap Lucifer? And everything to do with her. I don't understand. What does the detective have to do with wanting to die? Was that why he threw himself in front of her when they were shot at? Because she nullifies the celestial powers? For the first time, I had hope. Maybe she could do for me what she did for you. Then why kidnap me? Because in order to test my theory, I needed you out of the way. Okay. What about everything else that happened to me? Honestly, I don't know. Which will infuriate Lucifer to know this truth. You're telling the truth. I gotta tell you, I think these guys are all talk. I pissed every single one of them off. No one's moved yet. Well, your spidey sense is off. And are they gonna like jump him on the beach full of witnesses? Dan, are you all right? No. Well, you didn't think that a, that a punch was gonna scare me off, did you? No. In front of everybody? That must have been what you did to my boy Moondog before he died. Make any sense. I mean, oh, good God. <laughs> we knew this was going to happen, though. What in the hell are they doing? They're going to drown him? Or are they saying uh, goodbye to Moondog? It's a pedal out ceremony. Because Moondog was like one of us. A free spirit who wanted to be one with the ocean. Go ahead, say something. <gasps> Cause yeah, he was your boy, right, Dan? And you meant so much to a lot of people. Which is why I came here today to find his killer. Cause he was strangled by a surf leash and the orca's tags are all over carbon, which is where his body was found. We don't go up to carbon. Those private beaches are all blocked off. Those rich snobs make oh, it clear we're not people. welcome there. So why bother? The rich people. So the rich people know about the orca's MO and used it to frame them? What do you think? I'm particularly proud of the new filing system, complete with a sexy victims file, obvious killers pile, oh, and boring crimes file, to be ignored, of course. I mean, did you really think I was dumb enough to help you just because you tried to clean up my desk and actually made it worse? I mean, what even is that? That's me. <laughs> Where can you get that? That has to be available someplace. Oh, I don't need your help anymore. Then why are you still here? Because this case matters to you. Therefore, it matters to me. We're partners, detective. Next time, you want to just start there? Next time, so we're... <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh. Remember how they said that they never go up to Carbon because it's private? California has no private beaches, which means... Someone must have put the signs up illegally. Mm-hmm. One person was cited dozens of times for posting at Carbon. 
Mm-hmm. To you, detective. This is private property. Didn't you see the signs? Just did you happen to see them? No. No. You know, <laughs> someone must have taken them down. <laughs> but I'm calling the police. Done. What, you mean like those police? The beach, I wonder if the officers will find anything of interest in there. Like a surf leash. I don't know what you're talking about. Tell us the truth. Did he steal from you? <gasps> he was a lover. Perhaps it was some kind of sexual liaison that went awry. Really, I must know. Mm -hmm. Well, you say that, Justine, but the police officer up there holding a surfboard says yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. I paid for this land. I even put up signs, but they trampled this whole beach like it was their own. Because it is. And I just couldn't take it anymore. I, I had to send a message. Because I'm entitled. And that's why you framed the orcas for Manny's murder. Hold on. So you're saying your brazen act of violence, it wasn't personal at all? Manny was just a means to an end. You're under arrest, Justine, mm. for the murder of Manny Taylor. Not a speck of remorse at all. After all that, I could really use a glass of champagne. Shit. And he's gone. I can't do it anymore. I'm in a deal. I'm so relieved to hear you say that because I feel the same way. Mm. You see, I realize that I don't want to hide our relationship anymore. Well, that's not exactly what I mean. I had a feeling that's what she was going to say. Is this because I have chlamydia? No. I mean... I mean, just help. I didn't know she was a prostitute. Secondly, you had sex with my brother, the biggest whore on the planet. How do I know you didn't give me chlamydia? Okay, how dare you? How dare you? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is my doctor. What do you know? False positive on the chlamydia. What do you know? So what is, what does, what, what is ails him then? I feel like I'm being a bad friend to Maze. It doesn't matter how much I like you. I can't date my friend's ex anymore. Mm, mm. He can't help that though. But I do really like you. And I really like you. Well, this is a goodbye. Oh, Maze! No, oh, Maze! <laughs> oh, Maze. I talk a lot, okay? I know that. Okay, so even if you hate it, it doesn't give you the right to yell at me the way that you did. And, and I think you owe me an apology. You're right. I was in a bad place and I took it out on you and there's no excuse for that. You were in a bad place? Really? Obviously. Is there anything I can do? Do you, do you need a hug? <laughs> You're gonna miss me. Is this the last of Pierce for reals? Um. Where do you think you're going? I'm here because I finally figured out why my father returned my wings. He wanted to stop you defying him and he used me to do it. You needed me out of the way, and since my wings ruined your kidnapping plan, it seems I was a means to an end. So what? It means my dad screwed us both. But perhaps there's a way for us to screw him back. Oh, God, they're going to team How? up. By killing you. If you stay, I will find a way to end your infinite misery if it's the last thing I do. But isn't Lucifer not allowed to kill him? Well, you may have crossed paths with God. But you've certainly never made a deal with the devil before now, have you? Who do I lose? Well, hopefully, your life. Them teaming up for some reason. I'm pretty damn excited. <laughs> So I made a note. Something Pierce says, I don't remember hearing any sort of explanation for it. I personally would like an explanation for it. So I got it straight. 
he heard there was a way to make the devil bleed. Ooh, the devil can bleed, maybe whatever that is, can kill me and my suffering. Side question, where does Cain go when he die dies? Does he just cease to exist in any capacity? Or does he go to official hell? <laughs> but, okay, so he kidnaps Lucifer to get him out of the way. So he could get close to Chloe, put them in a situation where he could be killed or at least injured to the point where he can die with Chloe nearby. What does that have to do with the sinner man and his friend, whomever the friend was, and him going rogue? How does that tie back to the sinner man in Chicago? What did the sinner man do in Chicago? Because all we heard was what Pierce said, which could have been a total lie. And this sidekick comes with him to LA and starts killing people. And making deals, pretending to be Lucifer-esque. How, yeah. How does, what does that have to do with anything else? Will we get an answer for it going forward? I hope so, because that's a real big squinty eye thing for me. And the Chloe-Lucifer relationship, is it going anywhere? It seems as if everything they had done season one and season two, season three, they keep pulling them apart or having Lucifer make choices that are so abrasive to Chloe, but somehow she forgives him for whatever it is in the last 10 seconds of the show. And then it's just, again, again, and again. I'm hoping that gets smoothed out and we fall out of that repetition. Because there's supposed to be end game, right? At the end, Lucifer, Chloe, together, right now. Mm -hmm. Same thing with uh, <laughs> Menadil and Linda. Yes, I still want them to be better friends. They took them down this path, though. And having Maze be their obstacle. I wish it wasn't so. It's a stream. I guess it makes sense in, to a point. As far as storytelling wise, it's a logical obstacle to put between them is May's relationship with both of them. But I'm one of those readers, watchers that I always tend to put myself in the places of different characters and I would hate to be in that place. So it's a little, it's a situation I don't like because it would make me uncomfortable, but I'm not them. It's nothing to do with me, but my instinct is to go, mm, no, I don't like it because I wouldn't want to be in it, but I'm not in it. So storytelling wise, it's a fine choice. It's just one that I hope doesn't drag out. Like with the Ella Pierce thing, she caught him at a bad time. Yes, she was too much for him to handle at that moment. So yes, he's going to pop off. Are her feelings going to get hurt? Yes. Is she entitled to her feelings getting hurt? Yes. But to change her whole personality, a little extreme. So I'm glad they wrapped that one up right quickly. But now we got a Cain and Lucifer team up. Or Lucifer's going to try to find a way to kill Cain and somehow solve murders with Chloe. Okay. <laughs> How are they going to? Hmm. <laughs> Well, this will be interesting going forward. <laughs> so tell me what you think. Don't tell me too much. But the Kane and Lucifer team up. Are you excited? Were you excited? Let me know. And until next time, this is just a reminder to stand. If you haven't in a while, stand up. Walk around the room a little bit. Do some shoulder rolls and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> wiggly wigglies and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all <laughs> and until next time